Hello and welcome to another budget and legit video. Now today what I'm going to show you is the Sykes EGR valve cleaner slash actuator. Um, what this is, does exactly what it says on the tin, it cleans EGR valves and it tests them. Now some cars they're really easy to take the EGR valves out, some are a nightmare. Um, and from what I can see from the from from other YouTube videos in America, they seem to they seem to get really clogged up. We don't really get that here. I've seen a few, but I've never seen any as bad as they get them over there. So I don't know if it's fuel or I, I just don't know. But it, it just doesn't seem to 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 we get them over here. But also, I think the cars do a lot more mileage kind of over there than what they would do here. But we still have EGR valve problems. We just they just don't seem to get caked up. This can plug into our EGR valve and it can clean it. We don't have to remove it, which is absolutely brilliant. What it also will do, if you happen to have the EGR valve out, you can actually open and close it so you can actually get to inside to clean it better. Um, but you don't have to take it out. And after the cleaning cycle, it'll actually tell you if it's good or bad. Now you can plug them into scan tools and you can read data, but you can't get 100% if, if it's actually opening all the way or closing all the way, even though the, the, you, know, you, can, you can activate it, say 60, 70, 80%, you don't really know if it's doing that. Um, if it's reading faulty or if it's internally faulty, you don't really know. This will actually tell you. And it's really simple and it's really quick. And what I do with most cars is, especially because this doesn't do them all, it does, does a lot of them. But the cars that it does do, when I do a service, I quickly plug this in and I just give the EGR valve a bit of a clean. Because if you do it every time you service it, you, you won't really have a problem. So, you know, it just makes life easier and, you know, my customers are happy, essentially. So we'll show you what you get in the kit and we'll show you what it actually does. So we get a big list of cars that it actually does. Um, and it, a little quick thing of showing you how to do it. Uh, what I have also noticed now, Sykes don't say this, but I have actually managed to clean, well, not so much clean, but definitely open and close some um, idle air control valves. Uh, as long as it's 12 volts, you can open and close them and you can actually test them. It's not for that, but I've used it for that. So I don't know if Sykes would be happy with me saying that, but. I've done it and it hasn't done any damage. So we get one connector here, which is kind of the standard connector that fits a lot of vehicles. And if that doesn't happen to fit yours, you get these extra connectors here. You get two of them. So you get three connectors in the actual kit. That's not going to stay there, is it? I knew it. There we go. And you get these other two connections, one's, one's bigger and smaller than the other. So if your EGR valve doesn't come with this type of connection, as long as you find the right, right wires even, you can plug this in and still make it work. And then you essentially get the machine, which is just a little box, the uh, power, because this plugs into the mains electrics, and I have the other end that plugs into here actually plugged in already. So what we need for this van is we just take this off. This is a 2006 uh, Vauxhall Vivario, which is the same as the um, Opel, which is what we get in Ireland. It's the same as the Nissan uh, and Renault. They're all, they're all more or less the same. So this gives you a few indications audio indications just leave that up here for the minute so all i'm going to do is disconnect the egr valve i don't know if you'll be able to see me but you might so you can push this clip in try and pop it out. now disconnected it i'm going to connect our wire to it this is the wire from the plug and you just plug our machine in the good thing about it is you can hear that beep now if you plug your EGR valve in straight away and you get that beep, you know the EGR valve is, is done. But once I actually clip it in, I can see our bleep go. So we've got no bleep, so at least we know that there's nothing kind of internally wrong with it. If you press it once, I don't know if you heard that, but it's opened or closed depending on what position you're in. You press it again, so you can fully open it or fully close it just by one press of the button. You can see that I've just turned it on. There we go. One past the button. If I hold this down for three seconds, 
just get this in here. You'll hear it go through its cleaning cycle. So it'll open and close, open and close. So it's actuating the EGR valve. So I press and hold for three seconds. Now you can, you can hear that. So it's gonna open and close it, open and close it. After 90 seconds, it will show me a red light or a green light or a beep. Uh, green light is good, beep is bad, red light is bad. So we'll just wait for that to go through. Hopefully you can see that. This can be boring 90 seconds. Maybe someone's dancing. So this is actually just knocking off the carbon. It's open and closing the EGR valve. The machine is, is knowing if it's going to be open and closing fully, so it's doing all its tests. Um, hopefully you can see the light. Follow the light. She's like a really long 90 seconds, doesn't it? Now, there we go, green light, and it's turned off. So the green light for a few seconds, and the machine is now turned off. So we know we've got a good EGR valve. If we had a red light, we've got a bad EGR valve. If we have a beep, we've also got a bad EGR valve. So the beep, again, if you disconnect, if you connect it and you hear that, you know you've got a problem. It's a really simple piece of kit. It's not going to be for everybody. The, you know, the average DIYer is not going to buy this sort of thing. Um, but it's just, it's, it's a really simple, easy way of cleaning your EGR valve without having to take it out. And if you do get a problem, if you, if you do get an error code with an EGR valve, rather than you know going through all the scan data and actually seeing what I would do just just because it's quick I would quickly get this out I'll put it through a couple of cleaning cycles then I'll, I'll rescan the car take it for a drive and that could clear it out rather than me going through scan data you know actuating it through the scan data and seeing what it's doing that, that could take an hour or so and obviously the customer has to pay for that I can quickly plug this in put it through its cleaning cycle, see what it says. If it says it's good, I can look at other things. If it says it's bad, then I can replace the EGR valve and then I can go take the diagnostics from there. So that's why I really like it. It's just a quick, easy test um, and it's just brilliant. It really is. It, it can save me a lot of time. It can save people money because rather than me having to take the EGR valve off and doing other things and cleaning it and doing this, you know, it, I can just press the button, bang, done, sorted. Right, so that's it. It really is simple. It's just, I thought I'd quickly show you it because it is a simple test to do and it just, it's, it's quick. So, you know, you might not know what it's about and if you, if you kind of do do these things or if you're starting off, it's something to maybe look at um, and it can just save you time. If it can save you time, you can make more money and everybody is basically happy. You can save the customer money and it's just, it's just one of them things, you know, the better tools you have, the easier it makes your life, the better people come to, oh yeah, he fixed this and he did this. It's just, it's just better for everybody. But unfortunately, like everything, it costs bloody money. So look, that's it. Hope it helps. Thumbs up, subscribe and all that. All the links down below. We have links up here as well and everything. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.